Hey, this is Emily Thomas, and I'm here to talk to you today about Wix e-commerce, all the different ways there are to process payments, and then what you need to have ready to go before you jump into Wix e-commerce. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen with you. Of course, we're using Google Chrome. So here is, I've already gone to step two, so I'm gonna go back to step one. So basically in your settings, you're gonna click on accept payments. And here's going to show you all the different ways that you can receive payments with Wix. So Wix has a ton of different options. They've added so many more over the last couple of years. Basically, they're going to first ask you if you want to use Wix payments. I'm already in the process of connecting this, so that's why it's popping up. And then Apple Pay, PayPal, or manual payments. So it would be like accepting cash, check, or other forms of payment, mostly in person. Let's click more payment options. They have lots of like after pay affirm options where it's more like a financing thing where people can pay in small chunks. Um, and then all the way down here at the bottom, there are third party credit and debit card providers. See options. These are the probably the more common ones that you're going to recognize. Stripe, Priority Payments, Square, um, Braintree, which is owned by PayPal, Authorize.net. That's a new one I have not used yet here in Wix. So let me just tell you about my quick experience with um these and what i know about them okay so number one the first thing i um used was square and this was because my first e-commerce client already had square set up and so i'm like i know how to do square i'm going to recommend square to everyone so this person had a square account set up in store already so she had square she had tons of items in her inventory and so i thought i'm not going to add any more to your plate especially come tax time let's just keep it simple some issues I run into with using, again, Stripe, I use Stripe and Square. So like these third party apps is when it comes to tax time, it makes things a little bit um, hard because you have your Wix transactions and you have your Square transactions. Wix transactions transactions come through with like a receipt and, it, you know, in detailed um, invoice and everything. But then on Square, it'll say Wix payout or Wix miscellaneous credit or something. And so it's, you have to line them both up come tax time. It's not the end of the world. It's worked for my client for six, seven years because they've already had Square set up before they wanted to do an online store. Um, they actually want now to put their Square items online. And so I found this amazing seamless option to make that happen. Their payments still come through Square as miscellaneous transaction or Wix transaction, but it's amazing. So basically it's like a seamless transfer of their square to Wix and then back to square. So it's awesome. I can't wait to tell you about it, but I've also used Stripe. Same kind of problem, I guess, is that you have two separate transactions. You have your Stripe transactions and you have your Wix transactions. The reason I used Stripe was because they would do recurring payments. We had a subscription service set up on their website before Wix ever had subscription services. Now they have subscription services. So it's like, whew, load off my mind. We don't have a third party software set up for that. So let's go back to accept payments. And let's talk about Wix payments. So in the past, I've always recommended either Square or Stripe. Um, there's a handful of things about Square and Stripe that I do not like. Um, you can ask me for those reasons below if you want, but basically the tax reason is the biggest thing. They're separate. And the reason why I think that is, is because Square has their own system. They want you to build their website, your website on. I've tried. It is not as good as Wix. Definitely not as good as Wix. And so I recommend considering Wix instead of creating a Square store online. Okay. So Wix payments. Wix payments is awesome. Number one, the simplicity. I love, it's incredible. You submit your details and your information to Wix payments and everything automatically syncs. I want everything in one spot. They do um, recurring payments. They do um, invoicing. They do everything you need to get set up with a great successful online store. There are also ways, if you are interested in a point of sale, I'm going to have some videos about that coming up soon. There are ways to make point of sale work with Wix and make it work well. So I've got one going on right now where I have a third party app. I'm going to try another one with a third party app and just kind of test it out to make sure that everything works perfectly before I recommend it to anyone. But from the looks of things, it looks like it's going to be great. So Wix payments is awesome. And then Apple Pay also just integrates perfectly with Wix payments. So they're, they go together if you want to use both of them. Okay. So when you want to complete your setup, here's a few things you need to know. 
you need to make sure that you have your business information. So whether you are an LLC or a sole proprietorship, you need to know that your personal details, add your photo ID, your address, your business description, bank account details, routing account number, and then you need to upload a bank statement so that they know that you actually do have a bank account. And then you have to agree to their terms and conditions. And the next page, um, they will ask you, they might ask you, depending upon your answers here, but they may ask you for a letter from the IRS or um, maybe you got it from your accountant when you set up your business, but it needs to have your EIN number listed on there. So that would be another thing you need to have on there, okay? So those are the things you need to have ready to go when you're setting up your Wix e-commerce with Wix payments. E-commerce is incredible and it's so fun because if you don't have a site that's making money, then what's the point of having a site, right? So I have a ton of different tips and tricks and basic setup, um, detailed setup in my Wix collective. So I have a lot of videos on e-commerce there and I'm going to be releasing more as Wix keeps releasing more updates, but basically all the tutorials you need to set up a basic e-commerce site well, and then all the tutorials you need to set up your actual site well, because a lot of people don't know that they missed a lot of things in the beginning, setting up their Wix site so it doesn't look professional, it isn't set up for success, you're not getting found on Google like with SEO settings, um, your content's kind of lacking, and so I take you step-by-step step through all of these things that Wix doesn't tell you about when you sign up to build a website in 10 minutes, right? So they no, it's going to take a long time to cultivate a healthy website. And I'm going to take you from beginning or wherever you are to creating a more professional Wix website because Wix, I believe, is the best system for setting up your business. Easy to use, but also you need to use it correctly. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. The doors to my Wix collective are opening here soon. I will open it um, just a handful of times a year. If you wanna be a part of this monthly group, you can have access to all of those tutorials. You can have access to me via Voxer. We're gonna have live Q and A's and then again, all of those tutorials. So, and then updated monthly trainings and telling you what's new in Wix and everything. So hopefully you can get the most bang for your buck out of Wix. And um, I wish I would have had a community when I first started building websites, there just wasn't a lot of help for Wix. And honestly, it's not much better today. So I really wanted to create a place where people can come get what they need and have a better successful website. So I hope to see you there, thewixcollective.com. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for being here. Hope you have a great day.